Today, March 14th, marks one year since New York City's first known COVID death. And since then, nearly 30,000 people across the city have died. From Brooklyn to Manhattan, remembrance events honored all of those lives. New Yorkers shared stories of loved ones lost, and city officials pledged to come back strong. CBS 2's Corey James has more. Under the Brooklyn Bridge lights, a special tribute honoring everyday New Yorkers. Photos of men and women appearing throughout the night, their faces reminding us of those who died because of COVID-19, and their families standing nearby crying out the pain of loss. My dad, Francisco Juarez Garcia, passed away on April 28th. Our grief will never fully go away, but neither will our love. The ceremony happening on a day of remembrance is one of many that unfolded in New York City Sunday. Here you can see footage from some of the citywide memorials honoring 30,000 people, a number that hits home for many. I've lost, I stopped counting at 13. Two of those people were Mark Espinoza's loved ones. His father, Thelmo Espinoza, passed away the day before his 68th birthday, and his grandmother, Ada Guzman, died at 95 years old. Both took their last breaths just days apart. It's been tough all around. At Brooklyn Borough Hall, Espinoza stood in between two art installations, one with the names of those who were killed by the deadly virus, the other highlighting the names of people born during a time of uncertainty. Espinoza says the grieving has been incredibly hard, but he is finding hope through his four-month-old daughter, Annalise, and unexpected signs from his dad. You just see certain things that remind him, that remind you of him, and I'm like, oh, there you go. And while the faces of hundreds of New Yorkers were up on the Brooklyn Bridge for about two hours this evening, people walking nearby or driving, some of them stopped just to watch and see the significance of this historical day. In Dumbo, Brooklyn, Corey James, CBS 2 News.